worth a promise. I won't quit, keep going till I got it. I won't give up till I'm on top. Yo, no, I ain't the type to give up. If I do something, man, I do it till I get what I want. I turn a business out of nothing into something I love. I got a poker face, but honestly, I'm not one to bluff. I flip a switch, never miss, man. I always stay up. Don't let them see you, bitch. Always have a plan to stay tough. This life ahead of you ain't easy. It was built to be rough, but that's what makes a personality is tragedy, bro. Uh, so keep your head on your shoulders Now we ain't out here moving rocks We out here moving borders Now we ain't getting postal rides We out here making posters And we ain't got nothing to hide We move forward like soldiers You better wake up for the pay stub Or you'll pay up Don't make love to the game, bro. Fuck the game up Change up for your range stuff To your greatness Same us for the way up Play the game, bro. Never stop Don't get it if I want it Gotta make to myself a promise I won't quit, keep going till I got it I won't give up till I'm on top, yeah You know I'm always honest There ain't no way I'm ever stopping I won't quit, keep going till I got it I won't give up till I'm on top, I'm always flirting with pain She likes to hurt me and maim I'm always working to change But she's still lurking the same I keep on building this dynasty While the haters be trying me But they hate from inside You see, hate themselves as society So I let them speak quietly While my actions speak wider See, they be hiding in privacy With the screen, all the irony To hate someone who's trying to be Whatever they would like to be We all feel the anxiety We make our own rivalries Yo, so where is all the positivity? I feel like we all just hate on everything It's killing me Thoughts build quick Causing different possibilities Negative thoughts will cause different disabilities So do better Work hard under pressure If you got no time Work smarter than ever Don't ever let them tell you That you can't ever say never And turn your mind into the truest To go get us Never stop I'll get it if I want it Gotta make to myself a promise I won't quit Keep going till I got it I won't give up Till I'm on top yeah. You know I'm always honest Till I got it I won't give up Till I'm on top, yeah The 
end of the song Next time to sing along Trust me, there's nothing wrong I just need to carry on Cause society's a myth Put there to make you sit Listen to what they give Don't ask questions, shut your lid Yeah, don't ask questions, shut your lid I need to run away from this And go get off the grid Feel like my brain is overloaded, man I'm losing it Don't let them tell you what to do, man What is up guys, tripping back with another video. Today I'll be showing you guys how to build the Anubis V4. I know it's been a while since I've uploaded, so I figured I'd uh, give you guys a base here. Also, if you guys can hear my fans in the background, uh, I apologize. My computer runs pretty hot. I got a 3900K, so this probably going to be here my fans. So without further ado, um, let's get into how to build it. This is going to be the footprint of your entire core here. We're going to go ahead and pick any side you want, and we're going to add a airlock here. And then we're going to encase the rest of this with walls. Just like that. Add a half wall and a low wall. Put a wall here and here. Same thing on this side. And a wall here. And then this was where your TC will go. Now, if you guys want, uh, make it easier. All you have to do is place the triangle and a square here. And then you can just have this as your starter. And then obviously you can just build off of that. But that's just how I'm gonna do it. So we had to add shells here. These shells can be whatever grade you want. Add our double frames in here. All on the old side. And we can go ahead and we can steal the top off. Minus this part here. And make sure you add this part there to get up. And then steal the rest of this in. And then I'm going to turn my rotation 3 on for the top part here. And we go ahead and add walls here. And walls here. And same thing here. Now if you guys want, um, all of these you can add your starter batteries in for your early game. So to get have batteries in here, you can make your bedrooms, whatever you want. Regardless, make sure we go ahead and seal this off. Just like this. Obviously you're going to put your doors on and stuff like that, but that is your starter unit. Alright, next up, we're going to do six of our, our TCs first, and then we'll do the other six. Now, uh, when we do this, make sure you follow along, so you have to do this exactly how I do this. So, place these squares temporarily, which means you leave these in twig and you do not upgrade these. And then from this one, you build up four squares. So, one, two, three, four. You're going to keep this last one and break these. Alright, keep this one just for now. You're going to place a triangle and a square. And then we will break this triangle and this square. Followed by another square here. And a triangle. And we can break these. And then this will get upgraded. And we can add these just like this. Put two half walls here. Now this part right here is going to vary depending on if you're going to have, if you're gonna have a bunker or not. So if you're going to have a bunker. Actually I'll show you how to build the non-bunker version first. Because I'm going to have the bunker here. So if you're not going to have the bunker this is what you're going to do. Circle like this, and then you're gonna add it, it just like this, all right, just like that, and make sure you connect it here. And off of this part here, what we're gonna do is go ahead and we're gonna build a half moon with a square triangle like this, upgrade each you, leave this one like this, and we go ahead and add this, put doors on both sides. You're gonna have a battery on this right side, that's why. And we can go ahead and add our TC in here. Seal this off. Add that there. And we will break these. Place a square, square, and square. Or a triangle. And we can actually go ahead and break this. Place two more triangles, a square, and a triangle. Break these. Break this. Two half walls. We're going to look about halfway in the middle here. And we're just going to move back, just like this, walk forward, and this wall should be at 77 to 79% stable. If it's above that, you did not do it correctly, and if it's below that, obviously you didn't do it correctly either. So once that's 77 to 79, you're just going to build triangles like this, break this, square, square, triangle, triangle, upgrade this, and we can go ahead and break these. 
And then obviously we're gonna come back here. Connect these. Obviously this will all be upgraded. And this is how you're gonna have it. But if we're gonna do the bunker, which is what I'm gonna do, um, I'll just show you what to do here. I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of this stuff here. Um, obviously we are gonna need this part here. So let me just get rid of this for now. Oh, the TC is gonna be exactly the same. So, so what you're gonna do? Go ahead and add this, just like this. So this is if you're gonna have it at the bunker. So go ahead, and add these. You know, I'm just gonna do this for now. So go ahead, add these. This all gonna be like this for now. Same thing like this. And we're basically gonna do the same thing we just did, just uh, here instead. Now this one has to be a little bit higher, so we aim a little bit higher. And we're gonna move back. Now this one is a little bit trickier to get, just because of how you have to do it. So as you can see, 70% stable, that's not what we want. So we have to do hard to try this again. Now I would highly recommend practice on a build server before you actually try this in game. So there we go, 77%. This is exactly what we need. Add the triangles like this. We can get rid of this, this, and that. Put the square and the triangle. Break these. Now we can go ahead and place this one back, upgrade that, and then we can get rid of these. And now we can upgrade this. And add a, a circle just like this. Now, if you did it correctly, you should be able to place all these walls just like this, alright? Obviously, you're gonna wanna leave this one out just so you can get in and out for now. And then, you're gonna place the wall here. And I normally have my battery right here. So, that's up to you guys how you can, how you wanna do this inside here. But, like I said, this is just how I do it. Make sure you place the door frames here. And make sure you have these faced in the right way. So, it uh, closes the conditional like that. And then we can seal this in just like this. Add a frame here and a frame there. This is all connected now. And then obviously we need to add a square here and a square here. Triangle, triangle, half floor, half floor, wall. And then um, this is actually going to be a little differently because it's free handed. So we're just going to do the same thing. Go ahead, put your half moon, square, and then a triangle like this. Put your TC down, don't forget that, that's very important. We can go ahead and break these. And we can put these in like this. Have that like that. And then we're gonna build off the side like this. Just like that, break these. Don't worry about that TC breaking, that's just because they got my symmetry on. And same thing before, look about halfway, just move back right about there. And place the wall, 79% is actually what you want. Break these. And then add the triangle like this. Break these, square, square, triangle, triangle. Upgrade, and we can get rid of these. And all we gotta do now, just connect these, just like this. And this is going to be our first six external TCs. Now we still have to do the other six. So what we're going to do is come back down here. And we can add these now, just like this. Now three of these are going to be bunkers and three of these ain't. So uh, it's up to you guys, whatever side you want to have these on. I know I'm going to just have mine on the north side here. So go ahead and add this. So whatever side you're going to have the bunker on, go ahead and add a triangle here. From here, we're gonna go seven square though with a triangle on the end. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Triangle on the end. And we can go ahead and break three of these. The reason I do three is so you can actually build this fast like this. And since your uh, TT coverage comes over here, you just go ahead and break these like this. And then you just keep doing the same thing all the way back. Now, once you get to here, we're gonna go ahead and add these two just like this. And we can upgrade this one and this one. I'm gonna break these. Add a square, square. And then add a temporary triangle here. Followed by a, another square. And obviously this is gonna be the exact same thing on this side here. So let me just go ahead and view this. Now, the only difference here is because we don't have the triangle here. We place it here, alright? Now the reason that I didn't place these two yet is so we can go ahead and we can add these right here, like this, and these will be upgraded 
just go, make sure you do it like this. Alright, just like that. Now, we can actually go ahead and add the triangle thing here, just like this. Put the door here, followed by a wall on top. From here, two twig, and then a sheet metal foundation, just like that. And we can add this at the half room, just like this. Put the square on both sides, build three squares out, a triangle here and here. And then we're going to do the same thing as that basically, so add two half walls. But instead of adding a wall in the middle, we'll add a door. And then a half room again, followed by a square, a triangle, and then two more of these. Now, you're going to notice some, you might not be able to place the TC here. Um, if you can't, that's just because your build privilege overlaps each other, so let's uh, disconnect it obviously. And by doing that, uh, you can have to place the TC. So, the way you do that, just build it like this. And then obviously, you just place the roof like this. And that's how you would disconnect it, alright? So, like I said, for some reason, if you can't place the TC, just disconnect it, and then you should be able to place the TC back. Steal the stuff, just like this. Make sure you guys put doors down on your TC at least. You don't have to do it on this one, but just make sure you at least do your TC though. And then we're gonna go ahead and break these. Add these here. Alright, just like this. Now, the reason I do it like this rather than the screw handing it is because you can get the gap a little bit better and the height crept. And I accidentally broke that, so let me just go ahead and replace it real quick. Alright, so we're gonna come back. Come here. Move back. And we're gonna go ahead and add this. Just like that. Now, as you see, this is 87% stable. That's not what we want. That means that it is connected on both sides and it will not work. So we need to come back and do it again. Now, this is done by uh, Basso or Baso. Sorry if I get that name. Uh, but I was wrong, but I will have a link in the description if you guys want to see how to do this a little bit easier Then we got to follow it So All right, we are almost done with the external TC All right, just like this Make sure we upgrade all these and that is all of the external TCs fully completed all right, next up, what we're gonna do is compound, but before we do that, um, I forgot to mention, we actually have to connect our multi-TC to the Y gap. So what you're gonna do is just obviously on these uh, corner parts here, the circle, just build your breach peak just like this. And uh, I can go ahead and show you how to do that. Just place half floors on the bottom, just like this. Place the floor there, and then add windows on top of that. And then obviously just add a true frame just like that. Uh, I forgot to do that in the last segment, so make sure we connect that. But next up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add all of our uh, gatehouses and our bedrooms here. So I'm gonna do the gatehouses first. What we're gonna do it is add these three frames like this. Put them both sides. Low walls here and low walls here. Half walls, half walls, and then the steel the top off here. Now this next part is um it's not that difficult, but what I would recommend is don't place the training fences just yet until you have your turrets placed. Once you have your turrets placed in here, then you can obviously place the chain link fences. But let's just say for example that your teammate accidentally placed the chain link fences there. And you're like, oh, I can't place my turrets now. All you have to do is if uh, you or any of your teammates have the shipping container or the adobe, let's upgrade this. And then you can just come in here and you can place the turret just like that, right? Once the turret's placed, you can just go ahead and upgrade that back to sheet metal and uh, problem solved, right? So we're going to do the same thing we just did here. Uh, to this other side here, so go ahead and like I said, same as that thing. Now on these windows, I would recommend having these windows as glass windows, so. And then we're gonna add door frames here and seal it in. Now these are gonna be where your beds go and then you can have a locker here. And then make sure you have your double doors there. Next up, what we're gonna do is add our barricades on top here. So, you guys can't get away with adding this two barricades on here, but I do three. Just to make sure some little grub can actually hop over the wall. Because uh, I've had it happen a couple times, so. Just go ahead and place these just like so. And place one more right here. And same thing on this side here. Just like that. Alright, once that is done, we need to come down here. 
And we need to add some wood just like this on all of these. Just like this. And the reason for that is we need to add our furnace wall here. So go ahead, add our tenant just like this. And I will get my large furnace here and the wall. So the easiest way to do your compound is to do 70 degrees from facing the gatehouse and the bedroom. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Get a wall. And we're gonna place this as close as we possibly can. This is gonna be a, a slight little wood part there showing, but that's not that big of a deal. And uh, same thing on this other side here. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Now this side, I like to have it on the end of the window here, just like that. And obviously this side we can't because it's gonna be too close to this. So same thing. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and 70. Go ahead and place this in as well. So, 30, 40, 50, 60, and 70. End of the window, just like that. And if you do it correctly, uh, as you guys can see, you easily place the wall in here. Now you can do the same thing with the walls on 65 degrees, but I just find 70 degrees is a little bit easier. And once we have that done, just come back inside here and place our furnaces as high up as we possibly can and as close as we can to these foundations here. Just like that. And the same thing on this side here. Just high up and pull that back just like so. Now, you guys can see, um, it's just a little bit too big of a gap to have one wall right here. So, if you guys don't want to have the furnace there, you're going to have to, like, slightly turn these walls out a little bit. So, that is the compound complete. Obviously, you're going to add your doors and stuff like that. But, that's all your TCs and your compound done now. Alright, next up, what we're going to do is get some respawns in here. So, what we're going to do is add walls all the way around here, just like this. Add walls on both sides. You guys can either add... A door here for uh, a battery, a locker, or if you guys want, you can just punish them off, doesn't matter. Just make sure you add a jump up there, as well as, as that. And then, these are going to be bedrooms here. So make sure you have these uh, frames on the right socket there. That way, the conditional is set like this. Nobody can look in. And I'm going to honeycomb this off there. If you guys want, you can have another uh, battery there, locker. Doesn't really make a difference, just uh, make sure that you guys um, just close it off and go this. Uh, close the ceiling off just like this. Right. And I like to add this floor off of this side here. Again, it doesn't really matter. And then go ahead and add walls all around here once again. And add a half floor here and a window. It's going to be a peak up on the next floor there. Go ahead and we can add these here. Now this part, this bit here, you do this on three sides here. There's going to be three sides with a bunker and three without. Uh, it's pretty uh, obvious that both side has the bunker there. If you guys don't remember, it's going to be the side that's like this. Not this side. So where the double triangle is, that's where the bunker is. Again, add this frame here. That way you can't look inside. Put your half in there, put your bosses in. Seal the roof. And this part's important, so make sure you guys pay attention, because I know some of the comments say you can't open your bunker. Open your bunker, and you should be able to place it from the bottom off of this triangle here. If you can't place it off the bottom, and it's not connected on the right socket, try from the top. Regardless, make sure it is connected off of this socket there. Once that is done, place a frame here, and a frame here. Do not place one in the center, because you will never be able to open your bunker. Once that is done, place walls on both sides here. Just like that, I'm going to go ahead and turn my mirror six back on and place door frames here. Again, if you guys don't want this to be a, a bedroom, you guys can just go ahead and honeycomb that off. Doesn't make a difference. For me, I like to have uh, more beds better, so. And then add frames everywhere else here, just like this. Once that is done, uh, obviously go ahead and seal this all off here. Just like this. Add frames on both sides there. And then you alternate this floor. So since it's on the bottom on this side, we just put it on that side there. And that will be our 
bedrooms. Next up, we're gonna start on the open core as well as the early game shooting floor. All right. Now, our base is getting pretty big here, so we need to start on some early game defenses here. So what we're gonna do is come right down here to this uh, half moon here, build up two frames, just like this. Add two floors here. Now this is up to you guys, you have to either have this as a wall for your early game shooting floor, or you can have a window. Regardless, it doesn't matter. Me personally, I have these as walled because it's going to be walled in anyways, so it doesn't really make a difference. But uh, the only difference is, if this is a window, you have a little bit better peek into your actual peaks here. Again, doesn't matter. Make up your mind. Once that's done, just go ahead and place the floors here. Wall this off just like that. Add a half walls here. And then go ahead and add our door frames just like this. Again, it's going to be exactly the same on all the sides. This is going to be honeycombing. Add these frames here. Make sure we add our double doors. I like to have these so they face out. Into here. It doesn't make a difference though. Just please keep that in mind. And all six of these sides will be loot rooms. So we can go ahead and make these into loot rooms real quick. Just like this. And we can go ahead and add these. Um, doesn't really matter which way you have these walls facing. You have to either add furnaces in here or you can seal it off like I do. Either way, just um, make sure you add the floor here with the ramps and then add double frames too. I add these frames here just so I can have some more bosses here. You guys don't have to have these. If you guys don't want the frames, you can put a floor there. Doesn't really make a huge difference, so keep that in mind. And then we're going to come down here, rotate the ramp and place the ramp there. Place the temporary floor with the triangle on the back. You guys can just leave this. You guys don't have to upgrade that. Um, I just have it upgraded. This makes it a little bit easier in case if you need to ever replace that. Just place a door frame, a floor, a square ladder hatch frame, followed by a raised ramp. I already know you guys can shoot an HV and rockets through here, so I don't need people down in the comments section saying that this is patched. I already know that. This is just for a peek in here. Although, yes, there technically is a turret that's behind here. But there's also turrets that will be over here, so please do keep that in mind. Next up, we're going to come to this side here. The side that has the double walls here, not the bunkers. Add two walls, uh, add one wall on the back for now. Place the half floor just like this. We can break these, and then we can steal that in just like so. Now, before you actually add this center triangle here, I would recommend you put your bosses in here and lock them. Make sure you can obviously access them from here. Once that is done, place a triangle off of this wall here. And a triangle off of here, followed by one in the center, and the same thing on top. Just like this. Put two half floors, wall that in, and then this is where you're gonna have your turrets for the inside of the open core. Like I said, yes, there's gonna be some in the back there as well. Once that is done, we're gonna come to this other side here, put a wall here, and then you're gonna put a door from here. You can put a vending machine there, that is why, for all you people who like to flush your loot, that's why that's there. Put a door from here, and we can seal this up like this. Again, add a half wall here and here, and a floor there, and then add the wall like this. Again, another turret there, and that will be walled in just like this, or not walled in, sorry, but uh, put a door from there. And we can go ahead and seal the roof off just like so. Next up, we're going to add some frames right here. Uh, if you guys want, you can put frames here, they're not really need though. Again, same thing on this side here, and I'm going to go ahead and turn my mirror 6 on. You know, just, these just like that, wall that in, just like this. Now this is, again, doesn't really matter with socket you have this on. I just like to alternate it, so keep that in mind. And again, this will be another bedroom floor here, as well as I like to have batteries right here as well. So again, this is the battery spot. Go ahead and we will wall all this in here. But that floor is going to be the shooting floor, so make sure this is double half floor too, just like this. That will be a full wall, and a wall here, and again, that's going to be a jump up there. And you put your beds and stuff in there, and we will seal this off as well. Again, I like to alternate these here, it doesn't really make a huge difference though, pull it up you guys. And make sure we add these here as well, and that's our early game shooting floor, our open core, as well as respawn for the shooting floor. Oops, sorry, not the shooting floor, but uh, bedrooms for the open core, sorry. Alrighty, next up, we're going to be doing our shooting floor, since uh, we're getting to that point now. 
So we're just gonna come right down here. We can add these ramps here. If you guys already had these ramp placed early on, that's no big deal. Just make sure that we place those regardless. Add a half floor on top of that. And add a floor to the top of that. Come down here. Build a tissue frames up just like this. Both sides. We're gonna come to these half walls. Add windows here, followed by a half wall. And a double door frame here. Put a floor on top of that. Add frames here to in here. Same thing on this side here. And we're gonna add two um, two walls like that. Add some double door frames here. And a window here and here. And then put your uh, inverter on just like that. I would recommend doing it now rather than later. Just makes it a little bit easier. And then come down here. Build these frames up to this floor here. Same thing on this side here. Add floors just like that. Come down to the bottom here. Two full walls. A half wall and a low wall. Same thing on this side. Two full walls, half wall, low wall. And then add two full walls like that. And then we come down here. And we're gonna build this up to the same floor that we already have our trim floor on. Just like this. Put a floor on that. And same thing right here. Just like this. Put a floor on that. Come back inside. Build these frames up here. And put floors like that. And add these frames here. Again, add floors here. Now this part here, make sure you place this square off of this um, frame there. Same thing on this side. That way you actually have this peak right here. And then add windows all the way right here, just like that. Put a ramp in here, just like this. Make sure you add this door frame here. Just like that. All right. So keep that in mind. Add our two and four boots here. Just like that. Add a frame here and a frame here. And we will seal this off right here and this off right here. Put a two floors on three sides here. Not there, just like that. Low wall, low wall, and then obviously we can go ahead and we can seal that off just like that. Now we need to come down here and we're gonna build this up to this floor here. Add floors here. Two doors there. And two windows here. We can go ahead and seal that bad boy off just like that. Add frames here just like this. Again, we go ahead and seal that off. I like to add windows here. We, that way we can look out. Let's go ahead and add frames here and here. That way nobody can see inside this condition here. Just, just keep in mind there's going to be a turret there. So what I like to do is I like to add windows here. Uh, you got to have walls here. It doesn't matter. And then I have a ramp here. Um... Because, why not? Again, this doesn't have to be a ramp. This could just be a wall. Doesn't make a huge difference. Totally up to you guys. Do whatever you guys prefer there. And then I have a window here. As well as a window here. And then I add frames just like this. Now, for some reason, if you guys don't have enough stability, uh, you got to actually add frames to both of these. Doesn't make a difference. Oops. Don't add that. Uh, do I have, we can steal this all in then. Just like this. Again, uh, there's gonna be one at the top of these, so add the windows there. And let's add some more frame just like this. Don't forget we need a frame here. Add the jump up just like that. With frames. Seal that off. Frames on both sides there. And seal this entire center part in. Just like that. And then we're gonna come down here, add these just like that. Add these half holes here. And seal that off just like this. Alright. And that is the entire shooting floor done. Alright, now that we have the shooting floor done, like I said, next step is the shooting floor. What we're gonna do, come down here, add two low walls just like this, followed by windows on the two sides here. So again, the side that don't have the low wall, that's where you're gonna put the windows there. We can go ahead and put a ramp here and a ramp here. Come down to the bottom down here. We're gonna add a half wall here and a half wall here. And we're just gonna build these frames up here to the height that's halfway to this window, just like that. Put a window there and a window there. And then we can come back over here and actually add in our 
um, ramp here. Again, if you guys want to put the ramp here first, or sorry, the roof first, and then the ramp, doesn't really make a difference. Uh, probably a little bit easier doing it, uh, this roof first and then the ramp. That's up, come down to the bottom here, and we need to build these frames up. up. So, half floor into the window, or half floor above this floor here, add some windows like that, and add a ramp. Now, uh, as you guys can see, it's a decent little piece there, but one little trick is if you upgrade it to shipping containers, you can see a little bit better. Or if you guys upgraded that to Adobe, it's the same thing. And then go ahead and steal this off right there. We can steal this off. Make sure we add the frames though. So again, we can go ahead and steal that off. And uh, we'll get to this part in one second. But before we do that, we need to come over here. Add two windows. Add these double door frames here. As well as here. Steal this one off here. Add these little walls. Again, these little walls are optional. You don't have to have these. Um, I just like to have it because why not? And then add the wall here. Oops. Make sure we rotate that. As well as one here. Put two uh, square one facing out. And then have this one facing in. Oh, you got to have that facing out. Doesn't make a huge difference there. Just uh, make sure we have ramps or something here regardless. And then for this part here, we're going to build a half floor here. Just like that. A temporary floor here. Place a window here, three frames here, and then build this up one more. Put a square here, and this is where your window will go. And then we can place a ramp there, a ramp there, and break this. Again, I know you can shoot HV through this. This just makes it harder for a MLS to actually hit this turret. Once that is done, put a roof here, and a roof here, and your roof is basically complete. But if you guys do want to have a mini copter hanger, I'll show you guys on how to do that real quickly. So any of these squares here, add doors on opposite sides here, followed by windows all the way around, just like that. And we can go ahead and obviously seal this in just like so. And that will be your mini copter hanger. You guys can obviously land down here on the top, doesn't make a huge difference. But that is essentially your entire roof done. Alright. So technically, you guys would be done with the base at this point here. But for some reason, if you guys do want to do the sniper towers, which I did show in the tutorial, or the walkthrough, sorry. Um, I'll show you guys how to do that. So, what you're going to do is come down to this bottom here. Assuming that this is the bunker, and I'll show you guys how to do it if it's not a bunker as well. So, what you're going to do is we're going to build this up to the third floor, just like this. Again, same thing on this side here. And we can actually do the same thing on these here as well. So it'll be this shape here, and then we're going to add a half wall here and here, and just like that as well. Once that is done, we're going to build this up to this floor here. So uh, you're going to have a wall, two frames, half floor, and then three. Right, but again, if you guys aren't going to have this as a bunker, this will be uh, three frames, half wall, and then three frames. So the same thing on the other side. And then here, we're going to build this up just like that. So half floor above that, and this side here is going to be exactly the same as the other side. So again, half floor above here, place your windows just like this. Now the reason that I put these half floors down here, and uh, I'll show you guys one second why I do that. Right. So the reason I have the half floor down there, you can actually still see, whereas if you have the half floor here, you're actually going to cut your visibility by a lot. So the lower that you have that half floor, the better it is. So. Doesn't really matter where you guys put that, just make sure you have it. I will recommend at least here or lower. Don't put any higher, in my opinion. And then once that is done, uh, the way that I place these window frames, just place these like this. Jump up here, and you can actually place these frames like this. Once that is done, you come over here, place two half walls like this. Place the roofs like this, and like this. Again, these roofs don't have to be like this, this is just how I do it. And then take this roof, place this roof like this. And then you can go ahead and add two frames like this. Followed by a frame here. Half wall, half wall. A floor. And then two on the sides here. And this way you guys are going to put another windmill. Now, I'm going to let you guys know this right now. For some reason, if this roof breaks, you cannot replace it. Alright? As you can see, you can't replace it. So you will have to place it like this. Alright? 
So if you guys want a place like this to start out with, so you don't have to run into that problem, that is totally up to you guys. But I like to have it like this. So totally up to you guys on how you guys do that. Now, again, like I was saying, uh, the only difference is this. If you guys do this and it's not bunkered, I would recommend having uh, a frame here and you just build that up, all right? So like I said, that's the only difference. But if you guys want to keep it simple and do the same way that I already have it here, just without the bunker, you can just do these frames and just build it up the same exact way that I already have it here. So, that is the Anubis V4. Uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Like I said, I know you guys have been waiting a long time for a new video and I haven't been uploading in a while, so. Again, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you guys did enjoy this and you guys want to see some more base videos, let me know down in the comment section. Leave a like on this video. If you guys are not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Turn the post notification bell on that way you guys get notified of when I upload. Make sure you guys join my Discord as well so you guys know when I upload. Also, if you guys want to see me um, show you guys on how to do my auto sorter and stuff like that, um, I'm thinking about actually making that video. So if you guys want to see that, please stay tuned and I ha should have that released within the next week or so. As well as a turret setup as well. Because uh, I know some people are wondering how you hook up all the turrets and stuff like that. So there's a couple of different ways to do that. But I'll, I'll show you guys uh, two of the ways that I do that. So again, thank you guys for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.